Look at Get that. Out. 30 years, boom. Here it is. KG gets the sock, makes the final cut. Oh, it's loose. That's it. So I look in the tube. There's a little plastic bag in there. I reach in, I grab it. Look. I, I mean, I kind of let go of it because I, I panicked like it was like a hot stove. Oh. Couldn't be. There it is! Yeah! The stars of the <laughs> National Geographic series Diggers opened up a time capsule in Colorado. Inside, they found a historic computer mouse belonging to Steve Jobs. Today would have been Jobs' 59th birthday. George K.G. Wyatt joins us along with Tim Ringy Sailor. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Hey, great Bo to be here. Great hey. to have you here. Both of you describe this discovery as the greatest discovery of your life. Why? It's just, it's something different than we're used to. We're used to going around with small handheld metal detectors and finding something small. This was huge. We needed a whole team of people to help find it. And it had some serious history in it, in as fact, you can see. In fact, you found the Lisa Mouse, right? Yep. Describe that. Yep, the Lisa Mouse. This is the one uh, Steve Jobs used in Aspen, Colorado uh, at a conference they had there in 83. He actually used that during the conference, donated it to the time capsule. So, Well, we actually have that video of Steve Jobs. Let's see if it looks the same. Let's take a look at the tape. There are going to be these objects, this new object that's going to be in everyone's working environment and is going to be in everyone's educational environment and is going to be in everyone's home environment. People are going to be spending two, three hours a day sometimes interacting with these machines, longer than they spend in a car. How, how do we know that's the mouse, guys? Hey, we, <laughs> hey, Ringy. Well, the people that actually buried the stuff, yeah, they, were there. they were there. Some of the people were there, and when we opened that thing up, for example, the guy that bought the six pack of beer and uh -huh. put it in there for the workers that were going to dig it up, uh -huh. he was there. He saw it. He goes, That's my beer. So I know that all this stuff in there was genuine. And, and I heard you all actually tasted the beer, did you? We did. I mean, <laughs> as soon as they, we cut the top off of it, I mean, the lid came off and there was the six pack of beer. So the guy that actually there, Harry Teague, and he reached in, grabbed the beer, started cracking them open and passing them around. And I actually took a big gulp of 30 year old beer. It was a little bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 definitely not the best beer no. ever. <laughs> before this, what was the biggest thing you discovered? Oh, before that. You know, I mean, we've been to some serious historical sites. I mean, we found parts to an atomic bomb. I mean, we found Civil War stuff. We found mm -hmm. colonial era stuff. I mean, we've been in so many different places. It's just hard to nail down one thing. What makes it so fun for you? Because you don't know what you're going to find when you open up the capsule? Is that the, is that the thing that that's gives you the rush? That's exactly it. It's the thrill of the hunt. Because if you knew what was going to happen, you know, yeah. the mystery wouldn't be there. It wouldn't even be fun, you know? But you, you came with things that we recognize. I see a tape cassette. Yeah, that's a See, talk Rubik's by Cube. Steve Jobs. Wow, yeah. So I, I don't even know if they're the, it would still be good because a lot of this stuff was ruined. But, but that's what's so fascinating and, and interesting to me is that in 1983 he was talking about there's going to be this thing called yes. a computer yeah. that people are going to spend two to three hours on. And in fact, people are spending a lot more time than that. In fact, they're handheld. Uh, AKA, you know, mobile devices or something they're spending all day on. Yeah. But this started out as a hobby for you. And you, you both quit your jobs to do this because you mm -hmm. said it's not about making money. Although, isn't making money kind of nice? Oh, it's really nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. great. But, but what people don't understand, we're not making money by finding things mm -hmm. because normally you go out for a whole week and you find something, you might have $10. Yeah. You're going to starve to death in a hurry doing that. Mm -hmm. So if you were putting a time capsule together yourselves, what would you put in it? that would be representative of who we are today. Mm -hmm. How about a cell phone? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think Smart I'd put like, yeah. like an Xbox or some gaming system in there just so you can see how it changed over history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, the watch <laughs> Maybe some more beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Maybe, maybe a robot. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a robot, yeah. And so what's next for you guys? Well, we've got some incredible stuff coming up this season. Yeah, I we mean, have some one-of-a-kind finds. I mean, we found stuff um, that one item in particular has never been found on U.S. soil, you know. And two, you found a couple completely yeah. unique things. And then things. we're on upcoming shows that are going to be airing right. here, you know. Just well, great to see you. Yeah. Well, you right. clearly like what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. that, that's always a good thing. Yeah. George K.G. Wyant and Tim Ringy-Sailor, thanks.